Hey everybody, Ken Surfs here. <laughs> We're back in the shaved den and it's time for another shave. We're gonna be doing a supermarket shave today. I was at the uh, shave meetup last weekend and I got to meet a lot of people and I got to talk and answer a lot of questions. And uh, some people said, hey, you know, you're doing a lot of shaves with some high-end uh, aftershaves and $50 aftershaves. And, uh, you know, when are you gonna do another supermarket shave with something other than the standard supermarket shelf items like Brut or Old Spice. And uh, I said, hey, what a good idea. So I brought out a few items here today. Uh, we'll talk a little about them and uh, we'll do a supermarket shave. As far as razors, uh, you know, I ordered th this online. So I'm not sure if it was actually available in the stores in the US, but I heard it was available in the stores in the UK. And the King C. Gillette Heritage I didn't see on display in the supermarkets here, but it was on Amazon and uh, it was available just, you know, like everything else. So uh, I ended up, I have these two in my collection. I haven't used this in two years. So I'm gonna be using the King C Gillette today. Now, as far as uh, aftershaves, uh, there's a lot of choices out there. We got uh, uh, that I use. Uh, Panad, uh, Clubman, uh, Mersol. Uh, there's a big display of Mersol at the uh, absolutely fabulous shave store in Huntington Beach. He has so many different items with Mersol, and uh, they're good products. Clubman, I, I have seen on the shelves. In fact, I think I got this from CVS. A couple of the items from uh, Barbus, uh, I have not seen on the shelves here. I hear you get to see them on the shelves in Europe a lot. But uh, there is a gent that uh, sells these. In, in fact, I saw these about to go on the shelf at Absolutely Fabulous. He had a lot of uh, Barbus products ready to go. So uh, today, uh, you know, I can't possibly try, you know, all the stuff. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to do is, oh, uh, I've seen uh, Gillette Pure on the shelves uh, out here. And I've seen Dorco uh, Cream. Uh, so I'm going to do some Gillette Pure today. And I'm kind of hoping that it... Uh, Lathers. I hope I can get a face lather off it. I, have, I probably should have tried that, but uh, then I would have rehearsed, right? And I'm going to use what you can find at Target uh, on the shelf, Cremo. And this is a horse hair brush. So I'm going to be using that razor, that brush, Barbus Pre-Shave, and Panad Aftershave. So I kind of kind of cover it all. And there are links in the description of this video if you're interested. Because uh, some of these things are like six bucks, you know, but uh, they really have a good smell. So definitely worth trying if you haven't tried them. It's a little bit different than the Skin Bracer or the Brute or the Old Spice that you can find everywhere. All right, let's get started. Let's put this in the Crystal Skull here. Get that soaking. Let me move my other items out of the way. King C Gillette. Comes with Gillette Platinum Blades, so I will use the uh, Gillette Platinum that came with it. I'll get the uh, razor out of there. I do like the presentation boxes. They're very close to the old presentation boxes that you used to get Gillettes in. Uh, this is the, uh, is it the Mylord? Yeah. So it is nice to have a nice clamshell case. All right. I can move the clamshell case out of the way. I can load up this razor. And if you want to see the details on this razor, you can look at my previous videos. There's a lot of videos out there. Oh, breaking it for the first time. First time. Let's try this out. I always see the Pawn Stars razor, DE razor. Uh, in the stores that you can get. And I've tried it. It's an okay razor. I got a little better shave out of this razor in my previous video, but you know, to each his own. All right. Loading up the uh, Gillette blade. Right there. King C Gillette is ready to rock. All right, I'm gonna wet my face and put a little pre-shave on from Barbus because uh, you can tell I haven't shaved since the event last weekend, so it's almost been a week. Ew. 
it was so cool being able to go to events again and, you know, see everybody and talk to everybody and, you know, just talk wet shaving. I mean, if you haven't had an event in your area, it's really, it's really nice. Uh, sometimes it takes somebody just to stand up and start one. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that. All right. This is a pre-shave. And they might be sold out of this already. All right. Ah, there we go. Really like some of the Barber's products. They have like different scents. But I always get a good shade. And for the price you pay, very inexpensive. All right. You guys use this in Europe? The uh, Barba stuff? You guys use it out there? What's your thoughts? I've had no trouble with it. All right. <laughs> Soothing shave cream with aloe. I didn't read the instructions. I hope I can face lather with it. Too much water. Looks like I can. A lot of comments on a uh, last video is I've never seen so many wet shavers, YouTubers that have beards. You know, I never tell you what to grow. If you want to grow a beard, grow a beard. You still got to shave your neck, right? You want to go tea? You still got to shave your cheeks. You still got to shave. Some people think that all wet shaving channel channels should be clean shaven. And I grow my goatee because I like it. And I like to demo a DE razor. It'll take it right off. So, Man, nice. Very nice. All right. Ready to rock. I'm not sure about the blade in here. Pre-shave really helps, Jens. <laughs> Pre-shave really helps. When I took that goatee off with the uh, with a Rex razor there, I uh, was a little nervous because I'm hearing that razor, some people find it aggressive, but man, it did its job. I'm looking forward to being with you here in the shave den without a 20, 30 people watching me and doing a shave with it and trying it out a more comfortable situation. Soap works really good. Really good. And the trick is, is to get all those whiskers wet with that pre-shave oil, and it really helps glide the, uh, glide the razor. And someone specifically asked for the Panade Clubman. Clubman, hey man, can you use some of this? Sure. No nicks so far. So good. Nope. A little more on. More on. A little more soap on.
probably don't need a second pass. But. Oh, Cremel brush brush at a horse hair. <laughs> Almost all advertisers are uh, all uh, Barber products in this one. Cremo, Gillette, Panade, Barbas. Talked about Dorco. Talked about Mersol. Now, when I bought this, it, it first came out, I, I was on the waiting list and then we got it through Amazon. Uh, not sure if they still, they must still make it, right? You guys still seen the Heritage Razor for sale? And there we go. And there we go. Get to go to the beach tonight for a bonfire. Uh, my daughter's company is having a, uh, having a company picnic and they invited me. Uh, I'm good friends with the president of the company and the vice president. I used to work with them at the state of California. Now they own their own private company. So way to go. Get to go out for a bonfire. Well, there is a supermarket shave with supermarket products. And man, can I call it a super shave? It's pretty good to me. All right, Clubman. No, oh, it's got a nice smell to it. <laughs> got a good burn to it too, guys. Well, there we go. <laughs> it works. Now you guys can use whatever you want, of course, if you want to use skin bracer. I mean, brute. I mean, look at this monster. You know, I'm a brute fan. <laughs> but sometimes you want to use something a little bit out of the ordinary or, or not as often used in the uh, in the shave den. And you got some more choices here you've just seen used, so you know. They are out there and it's to each their personal preference. And you know, maybe you could answer in the comments some of your supermarket uh, favorites. I'm curious to hear. Probably, I'm betting Old Spice still probably takes the cake or maybe the Menin skin bracer, who knows. All right, everybody, thanks very much for watching. Have a great weekend. It's Friday, it's the weekend, enjoy yourself. I look forward to seeing you all again very, very soon. Bye for now.